Hi, boys and girls. It's time for science story time. And today we're going to read One Hot Summer Day by Nina Cruz. I don't know when you're watching this, but it's kind of the end of summer when we're filming it. It's summer, it's hot. Dogs pant, hiding so open. Women carry umbrellas for the shade. Hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. Well, maybe not. People say it's hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk, but you really can't cook on the sidewalk. That's just a saying. My mother tells me to play inside games. She has the fan on high. Her mother wants her inside because it's not as hot inside in front of the fan as it is outside. Instead, I stand outside and tease my shadow. Then I run into the shade and draw pictures. Here are a lot of summertime fun things. It's too hot to play on the swings or in the sidewalk, in the sandbox. And she really shouldn't be sitting on that metal slide in the heat. She's gonna get burned. I eat two great popsicles in a row. That looks good. I look at the sky, it's getting dark and cloudy. Thunder comes and then big raindrops. I dance in the rain. I sing in the rain, I splash in the rain. The rain stops. It's nice and cool. I run to the playground and swing high. The end. Now you probably know, boys and girls, where the rain comes from. Let's find the picture. See how it's dark and cloudy and then the rain comes down? You know that rain comes from the clouds. But do you know how the rain gets in the clouds? It's called condensation. And the rain evaporates. It goes up in the sky. It's so tiny you can't even see it. But those tiny little raindrops come together and become clouds and then make it rain. And this happens over and over again. And I made a little mobile to show, to show this. And I'm gonna make some of the pieces and hold them up for you. So. On the bottom piece I wrote collection because that's when the rain goes in the ocean or a lake or a, or a puddle. So I wrote collection on it. That's gonna be my bottom piece. And then I cut it out. I used, I used kind of, I tried to find paper that was the color of the ocean or um, a lake. But you could find other colors to use. Maybe you could find the color of a puddle. And then I took this and I made it go in a big round circle. And I stapled it to keep it together. But if you want to use a glue stick or tape, you can do that too. Whatever your grown up says is okay for you to use. And then, so that's the bottom. And then the top is condensation when all the water comes together to make a cloud. So I used white paper for my condensation strip and I wrote condensation on it. Now, these are big words, so you'll want to have your grown up do the writing. And then you can do the other part. Condensation. And then I cut it out. I use the ruler to draw lines. And I made a big circle with that as well. 
and then I stapled that together. Maybe your grown-up has scotch tape they can help you use instead of a staple. You know, scientists like to do all kinds of things. The collection goes on the bottom, because that's when it, the rain is on the earth, and then condensation's at the top where it's in the clouds, up in the sky. And then I took other paper and I made strips for precipitation and condensation. So I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna write, you're gonna have your grown up write, precipitation. And then, because I wanted to remember that precipitation goes down because it's the rain falling, I drew arrows downwards and then I drew some raindrops. So my precipitation strip looked like that, like that, with the arrows going down and the raindrops falling into the lake or the ocean or a puddle. And then I cut it out. And then I did one for condensation. Con, den, Condensation. And condensation is the is the water droplets going up. So I do hours pointing up and then I do some raindrops. So my strips look like this with condensation going up and precipitation going down, and now I make some other strips. You'll make some other strips when you do your mobile. I'm just doing two to show you. And then what I did is I took my, my condensation and I put it with the condensation arrows going up because they're going up towards the clouds, and I attached it to the top. And then my precipitation is going down from the clouds, so I pun participation, precipitation with the arrows going down. And then I did that a few more times just to make my mobile look pretty. So you can do it, you can do more strips when you do it at home. And then I took my collection and I stapled like this, I stapled on the bottom of my strips. Like that. So now I can always look at my um, mobile and remember condensation goes, is the water going up to the clouds and precipitation is the water going down being collected in the ocean or a lake or a puddle. And then when I, I'm not gonna show you how to make the sun because I know you know what the sun looks like and I don't want the video to be too long. But then I drew a sun and I stapled that inside the condensation. And then I got a beautiful mobile and your grown-up might be able to help you punch a hole in your sun and hang the mobile up. Uh, maybe in a window, maybe from the ceiling or maybe even tie it to um, the knob of a cabinet. Your grown-up can help you find a place to hang it. I had fun learning the words condensation and precipitation with you today and making a little mobile to help me remember the, the meanings of those words. And I hope you and your grown-up are able to make a mobile like this yourselves, you can find whatever color paper you have and you can use staples or tape or glue, whatever you have. And then um, you'll have a beautiful mobile. But before you go and do that, make sure your grown up hits like, because Miss Jennifer really needs likes. And subscribe